back up your trailer, put your hand at the bottom of the steering wheel. At the, if you want the trailer to go right, you just put your hand here at the bottom of the steering wheel and turn the steering wheel white and the trailer will go right. If you put your hand at the bottom of the steering wheel and you want the trailer to go left, all you got to do is turn the wheel left. I actually turn around and look at the trailer and say so I got my hand at the bottom of the steering wheel. I need to go left a little bit. I mean, I need to go right a little bit. Now it's turning right. And this is a short trailer, so it's really a jackknife on you real quick if you're not careful like it is doing now. <laughs> Let's get us our sonar set up the way we want. And in order to keep this thing from vibrating and going all crazy, I will usually just put him down in there like that. New earplugs, man. So instead of the earplugs, we went, we're going with the earmuffs. a bunch of noise getting in here and and these oars are my trolling motor and there we go We're just hugging that wall where the motor is there I run two of them that way you have six swivels a triple swivel here and then all the way down to the bottom another triple swivel and a big honking snag a big honking snap just gets rid of the line twist so let's just see what we can do with it start out with our classic cast of like that you always sort of throw up wind from where the wind is blowing you a lot of people find it weird that I don't really cast much. I just, I don't see the need. Sit here and wear your, wear your shoulder out, casting a thousand casts so you can catch five bass. Screw that, man. Give me some brim and catfish. So we're targeting that, the end of this block here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of structure right down in here. And that's what we're targeting. And we're probably just going to drift and troll and sort of meander doing figure eights all up and down in here just today. Again, there's the swip. Oh, we just had a hit there. Uh, that's now nah, that's caught up, but um, the swift water here is kind of back at it here. Oh, I'm smelling bluegill all in here. Ah, he hit it. He sure hit it. I felt him. Why don't you just anchor? Well, when you put the boat right over the fish, they tend to shut down. I found. But when you drift like that, and, the, and there's not much of a, an association between the, the bait that they see and the boat that's hovering above them, they just seem to bite better. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. You see all that? Look, you see all that? Look at that. Look at that. It may be just a school. Oh, look at that. We had, <laughs> we had caught something and didn't even know it. Finally, a fishing trip. Ooh. Just saw we got something. We didn't even know we had anything. That's why I like that fiberglass tip. Oh gosh, we got something. Yep, something hit it. Oh God, they are hitting it. They are hitting it. You see, there's nothing left. I'm gonna go down to two black soldiers. Maybe we're crowding the hook too much and they're not really taking it, you know? There's just something about this drifting motion that they hit, man. You sit here and you anchor up and cast, they don't do much. Up. hooked up I switched to the fiberglass tip rod and once again look at there look at that boy get out boom boom that's on eight pound line too so. boom 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 I almost don't want to use this fella for bait. I might just save and eat him. Keep the little ones for bait. Keep the big ones for sandwiches. Ha <laughs> ha! Brum! 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 That's the way my daddy used to say it. We got a needle nose now. All them times I forgot my needle nose. There we go. Brum! Now we still don't have the double triple swivel here, but we do have the triple swivel down there just hardly any line twist really um, just with the triple but you put a second one up above it just line twist just like ceases to become an issue 
These are my mules here, boy. Black soldiers. It's, oh, that's messy and sloppy and nasty. Well, you don't need to be fishing if you're worried about some mess. This rod broke on me. Again, the tip of this one. We're just gonna have to retire that section of it and just don't worry about it anymore. I'm telling you, that, that fiberglass tip like that, they just, it, it, it hooks them for me almost. Our speed is like 0.2 mile an hour or something. Okay, this rod is literally falling apart on me. Lost an eye, lost an eye, just lost another eye. I mean, it's just not, there's nothing left in it. It's a hand line, but it just looks a lot cooler to me. But. Going up to one of our, this is a tuna hook actually. Well, the manufacturer said it's 10 out, but looking at the side, it's more like five out. I'm not sure how they do it over there overseas, but so basically a four out hook. And we got another triple threat, 20 pound line, that's it. And it's just one hook there, so. Plus there's that, and then. No good. So carry all your tools with you when you're out on the river with these motors. It's not that they're unreliable. I mean, you've seen me use them. It's just that it's just common sense to carry your tools with you. Man, this has been another insanely slow day. At least we got one nice bluegill. had a hit right there. Yep, there's another one. Oh, we're getting sort of small bites now. 